Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if the CBS log is causing high disk usage in Windows 10. So the component-based servicing file is a log file which allows Windows to communicate about components installed or unsold in between updates. So basically, if you're having a lot of high disk usage and you're noticing this through Task Manager or Performance or Resource Monitor, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve this. So we're going to start by opening up the Start menu. Type in Services. Best match should come back with Services listed directly above App. So go ahead and left click on that. Locate the Windows Module Installer. and double click on it. If it's running, you want to select the stop button and then select OK and close out of here. Now you want to open up the start menu and type in File Explorer. Best match should come back with File Explorer listed right above App. Go ahead and left click on that. Select this PC on the left side and then double click on the local disk where Windows is installed on to so double click on that. Now double click on the Windows folder now locate logs, L-O-G-S, double click on that. And then finally there should be a CBS folder in here, double click on it. Now there will likely be a CBS file right in here. You want to just go ahead and right click on it and select delete. You can also click delete on your keyboard, whatever you prefer. And now we're going to go back to the Windows subfolder. We're just going to go select Windows. And now we're going to go down to temp, double click on that, select continue if you need to have permission to access the folder, you need to be an administrator in order to do this. And you want to locate any cab files. So just look through here just momentarily if you see any type cab CAB files, you want to delete them. I do not see any. This is a temp folder. You could probably clear most of this out without issue anyway. And if you ran disk cleanup or CCLEAN or something like that, it would probably clear it out. But I'm not really seeing anything jump out at me right now. So at this point, I would go about restarting your computer for it to take effect. And once that's done, you should be good to go. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.